Hey everyone, Sam and Kieran again at the World of Concrete. So Kieran, we talked earlier about the uh, success of the HT Commercial Mat uh, in the market in the US. Interested just to get an understanding of what was in the market before the HT Commercial Mat yeah. came along and then why I guess the product's been so successful in trading people out of um, the products they were using yep. before into the HT Commercial Mat. Sure. Well, well previously it was either a mixture of plywood, <clears throat> masonite, but most of the time it was what we call Russian roulette. <laughs> they did nothing right. and hoped. Okay. And but the punch lists at the end of the job so where punch they had list to, being... a, oh sorry, a punch list is where the GC's called in by the owner and the architect and says, fix this, fix this, fix this, yep. fix this. Okay, so you defect list. So the yep, the punch list was a mile long. Right, right. Particularly with polished concrete floors. Okay. okay. Um, but the Russian roulette thing was probably 70% of the time. Right. But as polished concrete floors became more sophisticated, and the interesting thing is they're going, the finishes are getting earlier and earlier and earlier in the scheduling. Okay. So the protection period is longer. It's longer, right. So those systems didn't cut it anymore. Okay. The HT commercial system provides a solution for that problem. As, we, and as you know, it can be down and get trashed for yep. 12 months and the floor can look pristine when it's over. So the owner is getting delivered a floor that either meets or exceeds his expectations yep. and they haven't been able to do that before. Sure, and the builder gets off faster and yep. there's less stress. Yep. Overall, everyone's happier. Everyone's happier. Right. Okay, very cool. Thanks again. Cheers, mate.